Jacqueline, you're the first Bollywood star to do a collaboration with Huda, uh, yes. this massive makeup brand. Um, do you see yourself as a beauty entrepreneur or becoming one? Definitely. Really? Yes. I mean, more so because um, I've been in the industry for so long. I've been around hair. I've been around makeup since I was 11. I did my first modeling job. Actually, even before that, I did my first modeling job when I was about. I think like I was five or six and um, it was really funny. I had to like stand and hold hands with like my brothers and my sister and I wasn't even smiling in the picture. And I remember the kid that I had to hold hands with, he didn't like to hold my hand so he squeezed it really hard because that was a time when boys didn't like girls and, and I was just like sitting in the picture I was like, mm. like he's really hard, I couldn't say anything. But you have an awareness of makeup from then? I understand. I mean like I've been around it for so long and then you know, like I've I've been modeling, I've been on TV, I've been like you know doing shows, and then I did Miss Sri Lanka, um, then I did you know Hindi films. You know, I've been in the film industry. So for me, it would be more about like I want to be able to share this knowledge, uh, and I know there's so many girls out there who love stuff like you know makeup, and I, as an actress, I get to work with so many of these experts. Yeah. You know, in in makeup and 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 styling and hair, and I want to be able for you know to to share that with other people as well, and give off that information to them as well, and you know help them learn and um, and have fun. You know, so if if anything, my entrepreneurial venture would be for that reason, um, and and not for anything else. Tell me, but does it ever get too much? You have a massive following on social media. Um, is it important for you to always look on point or are you willing to let yourself be seen when you're not quite perfect? Ah, uh, okay, let me put it this way. No one likes to have a bad picture taken. Right, of No course. one. Like, I have my friend who's like, not even remotely close to being like, anywhere in, you know, like in entertainment or whatever, but she's just like, if I take a picture with her, she's like, no, don't, please don't. You know, like, no, it's a terrible picture, please. My yeah. mom, my mom's just like, Jackie, no, 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 like, don't take me, I'm not looking good right now. No one likes to take a bad picture. Sure. But the thing is, we, we are forced with bad pictures on a daily basis, you know? So it's like, you kind of get used to it as well. You're just like, yeah, I look like crap, okay? Like, I'm so sorry. Like, <laughs> I got out of a gym and I looked bad. Like, <laughs> I, was, I was starving or like, you know what I mean, whatever. No, I was in a bad mood, but um, so I mean, I think what happens is I'm kind of used to having those bad pictures now. <laughs> Where I'm just like, yeah, it's me, it's okay, and and also at the same time, I think that you know, being an actress as well, you actually have to be very, very comfortable being who you are, um, and. For a long time, I actually struggled with that. I was like, no, 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 you know, I have to be a certain way. and You I, had to be perfect. I had to be perfect and I can't let people see me like that. No, 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 that, like, you know. And I think it also is like pageantry and like, you know, modeling and all that sure. stuff. And um, you're scared to be seen a certain way because you're scared work won't come to you then, you know. You've built this, you know, imagery of yourself and then if people think otherwise, then what if like they don't like it anymore and they, you know, you don't have work anymore, you know. So uh, I was very, very um, conscious of that. And that's a legitimate and it fear. Me. Yeah, it worried me sometimes where I was just like, ah, I don't want that picture to go viral. But they went viral. <laughs> <laughs> and you still got work. I still got work. So it was, yeah, at that moment it was the worst day of my life. But like then you're just like, hey, it's okay. You know what I mean? Like you're human and I'm human. And, and, and a lot of times I think about it like I try and put myself in the shoes of who I admire. So then I, I reverse and I'm just like, it's okay, it's okay. You know, my fan won't, my fans won't leave me. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, you, as an actress, I guess I, you, you do have to come to terms with that. Yeah. And how important is a stylist in an actor's life today? Uh, extremely, ex extremely important. I mean, like I have her sitting right here with me, Chandani. <laughs> She's not going anywhere. Like I don't even have my hair and makeup people here with me right now. I have my stylist here. It is important because I don't have time to go out and buy clothes for myself, okay? Or like very rarely do I actually get time to shop. And a stylist just makes your life so much easier because, you know, they 
they put you in the most amazing clothes, they make sure that you're, you know, you're ready to go wherever you are and you are gonna get packed and they keep your wardrobe updated, they keep you updated. I'm, I'm not very big on fashion, like I'm not, I'm not too, you know, well versed with it. Um, but I know if I have the right team with me, like it just kind of like always will keep me in the loop. So yes, it is important and um, I think like it's, we're in a very visual medium right now and, and we're in the public eye all the time and uh, um, you know, we kind of do have to maintain a certain, a certain image most of the time. <laughs> Except those days when you're coming out of the gym and you're in a bad mood <laughs> and you forgot your sunglasses, damn it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.